This is part two of capturing raw images using the Camera 2 APIs. And in this part, we'll be doing the actual capture portion of the application. Welcome to Mobile Application Tutorials. My name's Nigel. Okay, so now we actually capture the raw image and we'll see if that works. Okay, let's make a start. So again, I'm just using my own website as a reference here just to um, point me to the um, steps that are required for capturing the raw image. Okay, so first thing I want to do is I need to add the target service surface to my capture request. Okay, I believe that's at the bottom of the code here. Okay, I've got the capture still image here. And if we look at the uh, capture request builder, you can see I'm adding the image reader surface that represents a JPEG. So I need to do the same for raw. So I'll just post, copy and paste this one in here. And if we just do the raw image reader, which represents our raw image. Okay, so I'm now adding that, adding that as a target as well. So um, that will tell the camera device to save us a surface for um, capturing raw images. Okay. Next thing I need to do is to create the raw image file. So just down here, we create the JPEG image file. So I can do the same thing for my raw image file. We created the raw image file in part one of this tutorial series. And we can just do a create raw image file as such. Okay. And now we need to do is we need to create a capture result member for the activity. This capture result is used for the creation of our digital negative create object. Uh, okay, I might just create this underneath the camera characteristics. So it's going to be a capture result we're going to be creating. Let me just call it member capture result. Okay, now we need to initialize that. That it's going to be initialized where we complete the capture of the raw image. So here we have on capture completed, and we've got this total captured result object. We're going to assign that to our capture result member. So let's just do that down here and assign the result to that. Okay, now we need to go into our image saver. Our image saver is going to need to take the camera cap characteristics and the capture result um, uh, member variables just to use to create the digital negative object. So let's go into the image saver. So let me create two more members here, one to represent the uh, capture result and one to represent the camera characteristics. If I can spell private, so this will be the capture result and it's called a member capture result inside this class. and create the camera characteristics. And again, I'll call it member camera, member camera characteristics. 
Okay, these two, we need to create a couple of arguments for the constructor here. So it will be the capture result. Let's call it capture result. And camera cap, oh, camera characteristics as such. Now initialize our members with these arguments. Capture result equals as such and do the same for the camera characteristics. Okay, so basically these two new members are required to create our digital, digital negative object, which is used to write the image surface, raw image surface to our file. Okay, right, now let's get into our run, run method. And the first thing I want to do here is to get the format from the image. It happens to be an int, so let's call it format. And we can get that from image. Get format as such. Now we're going to create a switch because we, we, we're going to get two requests, one for JPEG or one for RAW. And so the switch is going to decide which one we're going to save to a file. So create the switch. Pass in the format. Okay, so the first format, the first case I want to check for is just going to be JPEG. And we've already got code for this down to here, so let's just move this code into that uh, case statement. And I believe that's all the code there. I hope. Paste that in there. Save that. Okay, so that's fine for capturing JPEG. Now we want to set up a case in case we get the request to save the raw image. So down here, let's set up another case, image format. And this is raw sensor. Let's add a break down here, just in case I forget it. The first thing I want to do here is I'm going to create a digital negative creator object. And new digital negative, and it's going to take a couple of arguments. One's the camera characteristics, and the other one's going to be the capture result. So that's why we had to pass those two extra, create those two extra members inside this class purely for creating this digital negative creator object. Okay, next step here is we're going to create a file output to write the raw image to. So file output stream. And let me just call this raw file output stream. Make this for null for the moment before we initialize it. Okay, now let's create the file that represents the raw image where we want to save it to. So create a new file object, file output stream, and pass in here the raw image file. And just next down below, before I put set up the harness for this, I want to actually do the writing to this file output stream. So use a digital negative creator and write image. And the first part will be the file output stream, which will be raw file output stream. And the second part is the image itself as such. Now we need to put these two in, into a try catch harness. As 
such. And that will do our actual writing of the raw image to that particular file. And finally, I'd, we just want to tidy up. So we want to close the image and close the file output stream if it's, if it's still there. Let's do a check for that. Check if it's not null. If it's not null, we need to close it. Such, and that needs to go inside its own harness as well. As such. Okay, we've got a couple of errors here. Basically, when we're creating the image saver images, we need to pass the capture result and the uh, camera uh, characteristics object to the object creation here. So, first one, what is it? Capture result. And M characteristics, and we'll just do the same thing down here as well. Catch result and M camera characteristics. Okay, there's just one more final issue. I've been noticing I've been having focusing issues. In other words, uh, this getting difficulty getting hold of the focus. So for the tutorials, we're going to set up the way the sample tutorials are done. So first of all, let me just find the um, capture callback. So we're doing a check here in case the focus is locked. We found focus. We'll do another check of AF state equals capture request so we're going to do a check to see that it's, we've got a lock camera lock but we just didn't get focus here as such Okay, and this should help us capturing images. Some of them just might not be focused, that's all. Well, anyway, as I mentioned before, we're going to add a whole new series on um, setting out focusing on using the camera to APIs. Okay, I spotted one little bug that we better fix first. We need to change the um, image reader here to raw. So we want to add the listener to the raw image reader here as such or else we'll never call our um, image capture callback for the actually writing the images. Okay, so we've fixed up this little flaw there. Now let's try running it and see what happens. Okay, application started. Let's record so you can see what's happening. Okay, so let's take a photo of green cut. Image has been saved. I can see in the debug that digital negative work is happening. So I've got a JPEG image that's being displayed on the Recycler View Gallery on top of that um, Camera 2 API application. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go into this ES File Explorer application. And already I'll highlight this, but you can see that there's JPEG images and raw images. So already we can see that, okay, we've saved the JPEG image. It's a megan size. Raw images, as you expect, a lot larger. Now need 24 megabytes in size. Okay, I can't load that as such, but what I've done is I've installed this file viewer application from Google Play Store. So let's open up that. The good thing about this application is it can review raw images. So let's go open up that, go into pictures. Now let's go into raw images and select this raw image. It's going to take a while, it's what, 24 megabytes in size. Let's see what happens. Let's wait for it. And there we have it. Um, that is a displaying a raw image, digital negative image. 
So we've successfully now, using the camera two APIs, captured a raw image. And then you can see it there, if you didn't want to see it on the raw image. Okay, so that's it to, uh, for capturing raw images using the Android camera two APIs. Um, you would have had to have followed my first series on um, creating and using um, my very original series on using the camera two APIs. This was just built into it, but as you can see, the procedure on creating our file sizes, our image readers, our image savers, our capture sessions and capture callbacks follows the same sort of system of what we did for JPEG images as well, and to a certain extent for the previews as well. So uh, once you start getting used to these comprehensive set of APIs, the camera two APIs, um, they do have a certain pattern to it and it becomes more simpler over time. Anyway, that's it for the um, Saving War Images two-part tutorial series. If you want to get notified of more YouTube tutorials that I publish, um, just click on the subscribe link down below if you've got a PC. And if you want to follow me and get notified of all the updates I make when I upload code to GitHub, new YouTube videos, posting articles on my website, um, you can f uh, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, uh, put me on Pinterest, and I also do all my notifications to the communities and Google groups as well. And directly above me is my website, and that's where all the information all comes together. Anyway, that's it for this one. Bye for now.